Hi guys, welcome back. Wednesday afternoon at Tong in Bradford. We're here for a bit of enduro riding, basically to run the bike in. Guess what we're back on? We're back on the TPI. You may remember, you'll have seen uh, maybe a couple of photographs on Instagram. It's had a full engine rebuild, we did that at Eurotech. Uh, bike's had a good, good overhaul. I've got to say, since owning this bike from brand new, it's been really good. It has been really good. I'm taking this bike to Romania. So we're here today. This is the first time we've uh, been out on the bike since the engine rebuild. And we've also got something else special on this bike as well, and that's the ECU. Now, there's all sorts of uh, ECUs out there. You've got Get, you've got Kuba, you've got two-stroke performance doing ring flashes. And you've also got Innova Power as well, Innova Power in Portugal. And yeah, me ECU's been to Portugal and back. It took a bit of doing, but we finally got it started with customs. It took it took an absolute age, but I'll talk about that on a separate video. But we've got the Innova Power reflash. And Claude Pinto, who does the Innova Power reflashes, he's a proper engine tuner. Uh, he's been reflashing TPI bikes now for the last couple of years. I first spoke to him two years ago, uh, just before the first lockdown about the work he was doing. And uh, he's doing all the current models right back from 2018 up to now on the on the newer TPI bikes. So what can I say? I think he's probably reflashed most of the bikes in the Ligaris region for one. And he's also doing a lot of other European reflashes as well for, for loads of guys on the TPI bikes. So today's the first day on it. We're going to try it out, see what it's like. And I would think in the next couple of weeks or so, we're going to do a back-to-back -back comparison with the standard ECU and the uh, reflash from an overpower so let's take it away so the first uh, running time on this bike this is rebuild just gonna take it easy just an air for me to get back to uh, the use to well, the feel of this bike as well I've not been on it for a while for, Last time I rode this bike, yeah, was at Leighton Hall in Cumbria. Extreme event, so it's a few months ago now. Just need to get back into the feel of a 300. Uh, a little bit more aggressive, or more power than the GPX, shall we say. Find his way around a little bit. Gentle braking.
All right, guys, we're back. What do I think? Well, I'm pretty impressed so far with the Innova Power Reflash. One thing I will say, it has been a while since I've been on the, the TPI. So I will do a back-to-back -back test with the standard ECU and the Innova Power one. But so far, from what I remember, it looks a lot better in third gear. Third gear is a lot more usable now, even when you get down to those really crawling sort of situations. Um, yeah, right from the bottom. I mean, I had the tick over quite low and uh, it just picks up straight away. No messing about and runs really nice. Really impressed with it. This afternoon we've done uh, 54 kilometers. Well, that's about 32 miles, something like that. Intense long distance type training that I'm doing at the moment. Just trying to simulate uh, the type of going, intense going the, that I might come across in Romania. So it's just all, it's all about trying to be fit, be bike fit uh, at the moment. But yeah, that's it at the moment. More on the Innova Power Reflash. I'm going to get some second opinions as well from uh, some guys that I know, see what they think. So that'll be over the next sort of few weeks or so. Because we've got quite a lot of training coming up now over the next sort of few weeks. Places I'm going to be going to are uh, Werndu. We've got a long weekend at Werndu next weekend. Then I'm at the Scarry Compound for three days the weekend after. And then I'm back at Werndu the weekend after that for another good session. And then that takes us up to uh, the first week in July. And then we're going to get the bike prepped for Romaniacs. So stay tuned, Aaron. You're on Adventure Media at Eurotech. See you soon.